We got Whispy Dyers, man. Uh, happy Wednesday to y'all, man. Uh, the next video y'all might do uh, in a minute. Y'all might see that bitch tomorrow. I don't know, depending on how I feel. <laughs> I know I ain't gonna make no video for Thursday. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into it, man. Happy Wednesday and Thursday. <clears throat> like, it. No, no telling when I'm deciding to drop the video. This happened in July of last year. So happy Wednesday and My house was having some pretty big problems, and I was left without any power for several days no while it was getting repaired. I worked from home, so oh this was a major issue. I ultimately had to rent out an Airbnb to stay at for a few days until the power was back on in my home. Fair. I don't live in the biggest city. So there weren't too many options for Airbnbs near me. The closest one that was at a reasonable price was about a 45 minute drive from my home. It was in an even smaller and secluded area of the city, which was often referred to as not the best section to live in. Mm. I was only staying for a few days That's though, all. so okay. the amount I was saving was worth it. When I arrived, I went right inside and basically straight to bed, exhausted from everything going on with my house. But in the morning, I got up early nothing? Okay. <laughs> and started setting up my laptop and workspace. It is crazy and cheating, man. But Just I... before I had to start work, though, there was a knock at the door. I debated whether or not to open it because it wasn't even my house. But thinking it might be the host or something, I went up and checked who it was. I just got done watching Strangers yesterday. The new one. I love y'all know I love Strangers. The new one. I'm telling you right now, I ain't open. I ain't, I ain't open the door, cause you gonna keep banging. On the porch was a man, maybe early thirties, oh, and yeah. covered in tattoos. He didn't look like an Airbnb host or even like a salesperson. Uh, Unsure why he was here, and not really wanting to know, I figured I'd leave it. I walked away from the door and back to the desk, finishing getting ready and starting work. I, go where? I had some meetings and a lot of work to catch up on from my absence the last few days. I don't think I left the desk until 8 p.m., and even then, I was considering going back to work after going out and picking up dinner. Thanks. Only a few minutes after I got back and started eating, though, another knock came at the door. All right, buddy, you bullshit. I immediately got up when and went to check who it was. Strangers. I wasn't surprised to see it was that same guy from before. The strangers. What could he possibly want from me this late in the day, though? I was actually more... Make sure y'all give this motherfucking video a thumbs up, too. Because y'all be tripping. For my new subscribers... Welcome to the family, man. Coming this bitch this I was concerned. Coming this bitch this But again, I just walked away from the door and went back to eat my dinner. After 30 minutes and around 10 p.m., I decided to work for at least another hour. I was tired, but the work had to get done, and I knew putting it off until tomorrow would just make me more stressed. I put my headphones in and tried to focus for the next hour. I got a lot done, and once I was satisfied, I finally closed my laptop for the night. I hadn't realized how dark it had gotten. I guess my laptop screen was the only light I had on. Damn. I went to the front and flipped on the light, and a chill instantly rushed through me. Going down the front hallway were faint but unmistakable shoe prints. Looking around, they were all over the place, even going right up behind the desk I was working at. Terrified, I slowly followed them down <laughs> to the back door, which was cracked. Over slowly, with my ass, I got my shit and left. Open. I don't even know how to describe what I was feeling. It was just pure horror. And only moments after this, footsteps started coming down the stairs. Bitch, what? Slow and careful, 
But when they got to the bottom, a man peered out into the hallway and looked directly at me. It was that same man, easily distinguishable with all the tattoos and everything. The stranger. And he looked surprised to see me walking around. Mm -hmm. But that surprise quickly turned into rage. His face had no emotions other than irritation and anger. Nigga, you went I was going to try to say something, but no words came out. And as my heart started pounding in my chest, I turned right back around and sprinted out the back door. I ran through the backyard, okay, into the like, trees, far behind the blind. houses. I sat behind a tree and pulled my phone out, starting to dial 911, you but did. quickly closed it when I heard footsteps running toward me. I didn't expect them to follow me, but luckily they passed by without seeing me and continued to run out into the dark. Once I got in contact with police, yeah, no. I went back to the Airbnb and waited for them. I gave a detailed description of the man, and they actually found him the next day. Today. It was confirmed to be him by the tattoos I had noticed, and he'd actually broken into several homes in the days leading up, doing horrible things to those who lived in them. I don't know what he was planning to do to me, or why he seemed to have left me alone at first. I'm horrible but I can rest easy, knowing he won't be able to do anything anymore. Did the right thing. Did you know that more than 97% of renters yeah, I might credit for paying rent on time? Well, that man was stuck calling the police a little early. <laughs> it could have been them, man. I had booked an Airbnb several weeks in advance in a town I'd never been to. A client I was meeting for work lived in the area, so I was only staying there for a day and then driving back home afterward. The drive was three hours, and when I pulled into the driveway and got out, the neighborhood I was in was very quiet. Most of the house's lights were off and trees covered the lawns, blocking out most of the view. The only thing I really saw was a person walking down the road. They were far down, and nothing really looked off about it, but for some reason it just gave me a strange feeling. I went up and unlocked the door, going inside and situating myself. It was a very average house, nothing really special about it but was great for what I needed it for. God damn. After making my rounds and checking the place out, I opened the front door to get my other bag from my car. As I stepped onto the porch, though, I noticed someone standing in the road. It was the person I'd seen walking a few minutes ago, but they weren't walking anymore. They were just standing in the road and facing the Airbnb. As I started walking toward my car, they noticed me and started walking away. I kept my eye on them while I was out there, getting suspicious about whatever that was. They seemed to just keep walking, though, continuing down the street. Hey, this was stranger shit going on in here. I went back inside and made sure it was all locked up, then opened the garage and pulled my car in just to be safe. Throughout the next couple hours, I did a few checks outside to see if that guy was still walking around. I didn't see him anymore, though, and having to get up early the next morning, I went to bed. I slept decently, waking up a few times during the night, but my alarm went off at 4 a.m. for me to finally get up. The sun was still down, so it was still dark outside but I groggily sat up in my bed and right away saw a light coming under the bedroom door. I didn't remember leaving any lights on, though so I me? thought I somehow must have just overlooked a kitchen. Yeah, I would have thought to eat. <laughs> Guns would have been caught and all that good, great stuff. Not nah, going even on to you. Light or something. I got out of bed and walked up to the door, but just before I opened it, I heard something on the other side. 
It sounded like something moving around <sighs> with the person I saw walking around wearing. The fuck? I only looked at them for a second before they turned around and faced me. Was he didn't, he didn't look startled at all. It was almost like he was expecting me. He dropped the bag on the ground he wouldn't have been and spending. yelled at me no, to man. stay where I was. He began making his way over, and I only had a split second to decide what to do. I turned and ran back to the room, slamming the door shut just before he caught up to me. He rammed into it and tried to kick the door down, then started messing with the lock on the other side. I thought quickly and opened a window, jumping out and running away. By the time I was able to get police there, the man wasn't in the house anymore. Go figure. My bags were gone too, of course. Oh, damn. And to make things more <laughs> terrifying, the bedroom door was open. Motherfucker took everything. That's crazy. Opened. He had picked the lock and gotten in. I would have So if I had just stayed and hid in the bathroom or something, who knows what would have happened. I would have hit his ass. seem to think there was more intent behind this. Would have hit his ass from hot shit so bad. Aside from just robbing me. So I pray he doesn't find me again. Lou, what you gonna do? Run, nigga? <laughs> Fuck you gonna do? Run? I was on a road trip from Portland to Chicago. It's nearly a three-day drive, so I had some places booked to sleep at along the route. I didn't get too particular with what places I chose, but I went with Airbnbs so I could at least enjoy the road trip a bit more rather than staying in a crowded hotel. My first Airbnb was in Wyoming. And the route through the state doesn't pass through any big cities, really. So it was in a really small town. It was probably no bigger than two or three miles long. As I passed the border into Wyoming, it started snowing heavily, oh, hey, only no. dragging on the long day of driving. <sighs> By the time I got into town, the roads were covered in snow and the sun had already set. It was pretty dead, though. I mean, I don't know much about small towns, but this seemed exactly how I thought it would be, especially in a low-population state like Wyoming. I ain't never been. I was hoping there would be a McDonald's or something that I could get a quick dinner from, no. but it was very clear that there wasn't going to be. Damn. So I drove through the town and turned down the road to my Airbnb. It was a long driveway, leading up to a small home in the middle of a field with tall snow-covered pine trees lined up in the front yard. I parked on the side mm. and got out with my bag yeah. and walked around to the front. I don't think so. <laughs> I put in the code and got inside, closing the door behind me. That shit I already signed. Creeper than the motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. That shit is creepy as hell. It was small, probably 500 square feet with just a living room and bedroom. I took my shoes off and dropped my bag next to the bed, then sat on the couch. When I did, a thump came from the bedroom. I looked back at the doorway I had just come from. It was pretty loud, but I had no idea what it could have been. I got up and walked back, looking oh. into the room and turning on the light. It was all the same. I went and checked the small bathroom Hell that was no. in there as well, but it all looked good. Oh, and the only other door in the it. house was the bedroom closet. I walked over and tugged on the door handle, but it didn't budge. It seemed like it was locked from the other side. At first, I was pretty weirded out that a bedroom closet would be kept shut. But then I thought it could have been a maintenance closet the owner was storing stuff in. There were no other places to put oh, anything. Yeah, yeah. So that was the final conclusion I came Somebody could have behind in that motherfucker. I went back to the living room and rested my eyes on the couch while thinking through my plan for the next day. After 15 minutes, I got back up and went over to the window 
looking out to see if the snow was still coming down and if the roads were even going to be drivable tomorrow. It was eerily dark outside, with no lights from the town showing behind the tall pine trees, and it was still snowing heavily. I shut the blinds and turned back to the couch, but I saw a shadow move in the bedroom. It was slow and smooth. I wouldn't let that go in nowhere by myself, Airbnb, without no weapon. Like the shadow to a door opening or closing. <sighs> I started walking over, listening as I approached the doorway and looked inside the room. Everything was in place and nothing looked to have caused the shadow I saw. But I knew I saw something move in there. You knew you saw it? I continued looking Those around first until my eyes fell back on the closet. It was still closed, but something gave me an unsettling feeling about it. Mm. I stepped up and grabbed the handle, and it opened with ease. It wasn't locked anymore, but inside there. Brother, you'd have had too many red flags as it is. Wasn't anything. Then it gave him it too was many just red flags. Small and empty walk-in closet. Before I could fully process everything and try to put the pieces together, I heard someone behind me. When I turned around, a large man was standing in the doorway to the bathroom. He looked beaten and tired, you having scratches beaten. and cuts all over his face. And as I stared at him, he didn't even seem to care. He stepped into the bedroom and kneeled down, grabbing a dirty and worn duffel bag from under the bed. The man then stood back up and didn't even look at me as he slowly walked out of the room and out the front door. I ran up and saw him trailing through the snow it's, 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 until he was beyond the lights from the house. It, it, it's, it's, I tried to get police involved, but after giving my description, they really only talked to the Airbnb host. After leaving town, I didn't get any more information. I think it's most likely that he was just using the place to sleep or something, but the way he looked makes me second guess that. Mm -hmm. I just can't even think of what could have happened if I went right to bed that night with the man hiding in the closet just inches away from me. Hey, that would have been some creep ass shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. But at least he was man enough to come out. At least he was man enough to come out. And you were too scared he didn't do something. So if he would, did want to do something, it didn't happen. <laughs> that being said, man, see you when I see you. I mean, hopefully y'all have a Wednesday, a good Wednesday or a good Thursday, depending on when I draw this video. You never know with me. I ain't gonna lie. That being said, see you when I see y'all, man. Let's ride. Let's go.